Today we're going to be looking at isosceles and equilateral triangle. So isosceles triangle. Let me took let me take a look at the sides. Two of my sides. Do you guys see the two of my sides are equal? Even if I move my one of my corners to change the measurement of the sides, two of my sides are equal. Or I can move it here. Two sides are always going to be equal. So I'm going to be done with an isosceles triangle this time. But let's pay attention to the angles. Not the angle where my two sides meet. I'm going to take a look at the other two angles. Notice that they're also equal. So when we have a, a triangle where two sides are equal, then we have the two angles are equal. So let's take a look. I'm looking at these two sides. Let me not look at the angle where they meet the other two angles. So when we have an isosceles triangle, not the angle where they meet, the other two angles are going to be equal. Let's take a look at our work. Let's take a look at question number 11. Find the value of x. Here I'm telling you that two sides are equal, right? I marked them with the one slash. Those two sides are equal. Therefore, this angle and this angle are equal. One angle is 31. The other angle is 31 as well, 31 degrees. Now let's find the value of x. I know if I add the three angles of a triangle, x plus 31 plus 31, it has to equal to 180. Now let me separate them through the equal sign. 31 plus 31 can be simplified. I have that x plus 62 is equal to 180. My 62, let me subtract it on the other side. So I get that x is equal to 118. There, there's my value of x. x equals 118. Let's take a look at number 12. I'm telling you that this side and this side are equal. So not the angle where they meet, the other two angles, this angle and this angle, must be equal as well then. So here I have that x is equal to 45. Not much work to do. So remember, not the angle where the two sides meet, the other two angles. Right, now let's take a look at question number 13. Here I'm going to tell you that two angles are equal. As you can see, my two angles are equal. Therefore, these two sides have to be equal. Notice how I changed it now. I'm telling you two sides are two angles are equal. Now I'm going to talk about the sides. Since those two angles are equal, the two sides that I highlighted are equal as well. X is equal to 9. Not much work to do on that one. Now let's take a look at number 14. These two sides are equal. Therefore, these two angles are equal. Not the one where they meet, the other two. But here I'm using a, a two. It's not two degrees. Notice 120 has a degree symbol. The two does not have a degree symbol. Now, instead of angle two, instead of this two, I'm going to use the value 6x minus 6. That's this angle. And I'm getting that from here. So the, ang the measurement of angle two is six X minus six. That's what I'm gonna use for this corner. Therefore, for this corner, I'm also gonna use six X minus six. Solve for X. I know if I add all three corners, so I'm gonna add everything. Six X minus six plus six X minus six plus 120, it should equal to 180. I'm going to separate them through the equal sign. If I combine my x's, 6x plus 6x, I get 12x. Then negative 6 minus 6 plus 120, that should give me 108. And this is equal to 180. Let me subtract 108 on each side. So I get that 12x equals 72. Now, let me divide both sides by 12, and I get x equals 6. 
So we can deal with isosceles triangles. Sometimes in your homework, I'm going to give you guys what we call equilateral triangles. So I can give you something like, let's call it, let's say all sides are equal. And then I tell you one angle is 6x. And the other angle is 60. Now, because all the sides are equal, I'm just going to say all the angles are going to be equal as well. Therefore, 6x equals 60, we can solve for x. So if I tell you that all the sides are equal, then all the angles are equal. If I tell you that all the angles are equal, then you know that all the sides are equal. You're going to be dealing with those in your homework as well.